Preview, Everton vs Manchester United Manchester United kick off 2018 on Monday with a trip to resurgent Everton. When the two sides met back in September, Jose Moreno's men dominated the listless visitors and ran out easy 4-0 winners. That Toffees side seemed bereft of confidence under manager Ronald Koeman, but the Dutchman has since been replaced by Big Sam Lourdes and the squad looks reborn under his stewardship. Before losing at Bournemouth on Saturday, courtesy of an 88th-minute deflected goal, Everton had gone seven matches unbeaten, including memorable draws against Liverpool and Chelsea. All in all, it's been a dream start to life on Merseyside for Allardyce. After his appointment in late November, the new boss wasted no time in sorting out Everton's wayward defence. The club coughed up big fees last summer on centre-back Michael Keane and goalkeeper Jordan Pickford, but only kept one clean sheet under Coleman and interim manager David Unsworth. Under Big Sam, that number has swelled to five, leaving the manager justifiably proud. The lads have done exceptionally well to turn around a leaky defence. But some attention now must go towards the attack if Everton hopes to progress beyond mid-table. Ex-Manchester United legend Wayne Rooney should be available for Everton on New Year's Day. After missing both Christmas time fixtures thrillness. He came on at half time against Bournemouth, but could not spark a struggling offence that only mustered six shots. Speaking of goal scoring woes, Manchester United huffed and puffed against Southampton on Saturday but found no way through a packed Saints defence. Making matters even worse, Romelu Lukaku suffered a scary injury after clashing heads with Wesley Hoed. Afterwards, Moreno rude Lukaku's misfortune, that's football. He was just unlucky. I think the Dutch central defender goes with him for the ball and it's unlucky for Romelu and unlucky for Hoed. It was nothing aggressive and, hopefully, nothing important. The Belgian frontman was stretchered off the pitch replaced up top by Marcus Rashford and now looks likely to miss several matches. His replacement won't be Zlatan, though. As Moreno revealed Ibra had his own setback. Zlatan is one month out, the manager explained. I don't know about Lukaku. Of course, you miss your striker and target man. Even before the Lukaku injury, the 48-hour turnaround for the Everton match meant Moreno will be forced to make a few changes. Matteo Darmian has returned to training and could be an option to spell either Ashley Young or Luke Shaw at fullback. Ander Herrera or Scott Mctominay and can also be chosen to freshen up midfield. Don't count on any help from the injured trio of Antonio Valencia, Chris Smalling, and Maruane Fellini, as there's been no update on their health and they remain doubtful for this week. With so many injuries, quite a few of Saturday's players will be asked to shoulder another 90 minutes on New Year's. More than personnel changes, though, Manchester United just needs to be sharper against Everton than they were at the weekend. Numerous opportunities were squandered by mishit passes and their mailed crosses, with Henrik Mkhitaryan an especially guilty party. And when United players did get a shot off, it too often flew off target, three shots on goal and 15 attempts. 
Chelsea's emphatic win over Stoke City on Saturday, coupled with United's disappointing draw, takes the Blues into second in the Premier League table. Perhaps that will be the wake-up call that this club desperately needs. But United would do well to forget how easily they cut Riverton in their first meeting this season, for this will be a very different opponent. The Toffees are brimming with confidence and expect to take points off any team visiting Goodison Park. If United are to make it a double over Everton, they're going to have to earn it. Allardyce will surely line up his side to frustrate Manchester United. Since both Anthony Marshall and Marcus Rashford will likely be pressed into starting roles, Moreno would be wise to utilize their creativity and pace to unlock Everton's improving defense. Every player in the red shirt must stand and be counted or else risk being replaced when Moreno opens his checkbook in the January transfer window. Hopefully Manchester United starts the near in better form than the last one ended. Star midfielder Paul Pogba summed it up best, we have to bounce back. We have to wake up and get back to winning.